Hi, my, name's a my name is Amy Quick. I'm a junior at Gretna High School. When I say regret, you say to know. Regret! Yeah. Yeah. There is a ghost that follows me. She doesn't hurt me or taunt me or even talk to me. She just watches, and I don't know much about her. I would be scared of her, but it's hard when she's your grandmother, somebody I never got to meet, someone I didn't even know had existed till I was 15. Sitting in the back seat of my aunt's car, squished between my two youngest cousins, I didn't even notice when she was first mentioned. Her name thrown around so carelessly, even though if it was said at the right place, it would start World War III. Her name a host of many questions that can still unleash evil. She has died of an accidental overdose. She was a ghost to our family before I knew she had once lived. It's sad to think if I wanted to know more about her, I'd have to dive into the dark depths of my family's past, the ocean of my history swallowing me whole. An anglerfish lighting my way, leading me to her, the forgotten Pandora's box sunken at the bottom of the ocean, begging to tell me what she knows. When I found out, I wanted to ask all these questions, but none of them could be answered now. My family has been playing the quiet game, where no one can talk about Charlene because it would make my step-grandmother upset, although I don't think she gets to have those feelings. What about ours? Our endless search for the information that we know you have. I constantly wonder how Charlene would feel knowing she wasn't allowed to be spoken of. Her smile, a foggy morning, obscured and feeling distant. Her laugh, a now empty room, once filled with many people. Her personality, a dying flower, becoming less colorful every day. I imagine us meeting, either a warm park, or yeah, park on a warm day or a small coffee shop. Standing before me, I wouldn't be able to get the smile off my face. We'd talk about anything and everything. We'd forget that she was forgotten because for a moment, she isn't. She loved my love for animals and the arts. She loved my ability to be me, she finally getting the meeting I never knew I wanted or needed or had the right to. I'm past the point of being sad about this. Now I'm just outraged. I don't care about the medical records. I want to know the simple things. What was her favorite color? Did Charlene like to let her hair blow in the breeze? What was her worst fear? Did she love music? I long to know where she is buried so I could introduce her to my sister. I prayed that I had gotten to meet her, but praying has done nothing. It hasn't changed the minds of the people keeping all the secrets. Wishing on stars has done nothing but waste my breath as I'm shouting our gargantuan orbs light years away. But maybe wishing on stars isn't such a bad idea. After all, energy cannot be created only or destroyed, only transferred, so maybe part of her is out there living on the moon, watching me, listening to what I have to say. The ghost that has been following me is finally laid to rest. She no longer will watch over me because she knows I know the truth. She's now a part of everything, her energy giving new life to all that is around her. Now I'll never be able to miss her. She's in my father's smile and the flowers that bloom every spring, the rain falling from the sky, singing me to sleep. I opened Pandora's box and found her, my hope inside waiting for me. Every action is for her. The life that was taken away from her too soon gives me the energy I used to never be able to find.